Hi everyone and welcome to Masters of the Musiverse. I'm Scott Cumro, and today we're exploring a fantastic piece for band as part of our August Band Boost campaign. So today's featured piece, or one of today's, is A+, Plus, A Precise Prelude and Excellent March by Thomas Duffy. This piece is in the key of B-flat with no key changes. One of the most rhythmically challenging aspects of the 8th note uh, and 16th note combinations along with dotted quarter notes because they always seem to trip up some students. The form of the piece is really interesting uh, if you don't know it. It starts out with a uh, what kind of sounds like a band warm-up almost like you walked into the band room and we were getting ready for rehearsal. It's very aleatoric in nature. Um, there's a lot of freedom. It's kind of fun to play with um, with the students and to be honest sometimes I've actually cut this part out and just jump right into the march. The march is simple and fun, very neat, clean, uh, very precise, and the more perfect you make that march, the more fun the last part of the piece is because Thomas Duffy wrote this piece to highlight how important perfection in music is, even at a young age. And so in the, in the second per playing of the march, you ask the students to make one error. And let me tell you, after you've perfected the march in class, experimenting with errors is so much fun. Talking about the need for perfection and, and using different examples of like, what is it? What gets you an A in class? Does 93% get you an A? Uh, what does it sound like if you only play this 93% correctly? The best worst rehearsal you will have was when you talk about batting averages, um, having the students um, only play three out of ten things correctly <laughs> can quickly add to pandemonium. So th it's a really fun fun way to highlight this. Uh, it's really playable and I've done this with every age group. I've done this with an auditioned high performing high school ensemble um, and I've used this in the middle school as well um, and everything in between. It's, it's just a really really fun piece and so I really encourage you to take a moment Listen to the piece. If you can, listen to it with the score. In fact, if I can find a link to that, I will include it in, uh, in the comments below. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts as my, my closing here on this YouTube short. Have you played this piece before? What did you think of the intentional errors? What ways did you do those errors in class? How did you create that? Um, so drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you know any pieces similar to this one, um, or if you've ever used another piece, because you could certainly do that. You could take another piece of music and just add your own errors to it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Masters of the Musiverse for more great content. See you tomorrow, actually probably later today, for another great piece.